Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here for RC Nightmare. Today I'm going to shoot a little video tutorial on how to parallel charge LiPos. Parallel charging LiPos allows you to bulk charge them. If you've got, like we do, a lot of the same kind of pack, you can connect them all together and save yourself a lot of time charging them at once instead of having to swap one every time it finishes on your charger. Now before I get started, I just want to give you a little disclaimer. If you got, you're someone who hasn't had a whole lot of experience with LiPos, maybe you just got started on LiPo, you're not too sure about them, you're not familiar with some of the terms you're going to hear here, I don't recommend doing this. This is dealing with a lot of battery power, and if you screw it up, there is a chance for a fire, of course. So, that's my little disclaimer. If you're comfortable with LiPos, you charged them before, you understand this video and you like it, feel free to try it. But if you're someone, again, who's just getting into it, talk to someone first and maybe have someone show you how to do it before you get started on it yourself. That being said, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> First word on parallel. When you're paralleling your batteries, you may have a harness like this for your truck where you run them together to double up the capacity or your runtime. Now, capacity is the MAH rating on the battery. It stands for milliamp hours. These particular batteries are 5,000 milliamp hours. For the rest of the video, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to speak of it in terms of amp hours. So if you have a 5,000 milliamp hour, all that means is that it's a 5 amp hour. That's more practical to say because really, we always deal with thousands of milliamp hours, so you'll see a lot of batteries out there now are switching over to amp hours. Just a simpler way to say it, it keeps all the units of measure the same. <clears throat> so to start as an example, let's say I want to charge these two packs together. I have two 5,000 or 5 amp hour packs. These are both a 2 cell. If I add them together, I actually have a 10 amp hour 2 cell. I'm not adding up the, the voltage of the batteries. That would be a series connection. I'm adding up the capacity. You do not want a series charge lipo, so it's a very dangerous way to go about doing it. There's twice the chance of you hooking up incorrectly and burning something out. So if you see anyone saying that they series charge lipos, not a good idea unless the charger is specifically designed for it. So keep it to parallel. Now, word on paralleling, you can't parallel two different types of batteries. So here I have a 3-cell. This is a 5.4 amp hour or 5400 milliamp hour. If I try to parallel charge this with a 2-cell, the voltages don't match, this is 11.1, .1, this is 7.4, they burn each other up. You have a potential for a fire or you just damage the smaller pack. So you can only parallel charge packs that are the same cell count. That also being said, you really ideally want to charge parallel charge lipos that have the same capacity or very similar capacity. If you get into parallel charging a little bit more in depth, you can see that you can get away with charging different size packs of the same cell count but it gets a little more tricky. So for this video, we're just going to deal with the same size packs. Now this product I'd like to show real quick is a nice, nice parallel charging board. Instead of making all these little connectors here, this is one I soldered up in a previous video for you guys, you have one board that can do six at a time. This is called the para board. I got this from epbuddy.com. This has all our balance connectors, as you can see on the sides, and Dean's connectors all preset on the board for you. It's just really neat. There's no chance of screwing up your wiring because the wiring is built into the PCB board. If you're trying to do it through a harness like this, you need a bunch of these and you need a parallel balance harness. <coughs> Excuse me, which is just a little bit harder to make and again, a little bit more complicated. So I do recommend getting something like this if you want to charge multiple packs. It makes for a really clean install. I got the Power Lab 8 here next to me. I'm going to plug it into that right away. This plugs right in, plugs right into my existing balancing board and the setup and the, the wiring is just super simple. <clears throat> now in terms of actually charging up and setting up in your charger, again, let's say I want to charge these two now. If I was just charging one of these, I would set my charger to a two cell, five amp hour pack, simple enough. Well, if you're charging two at a time, you have to set your charger as if you're doing a bigger pack. So now that I have two in my hand here, I have 10 amp hours worth of two cell. So if I plug these into my, my Power Lab 8, I would set it up for 10 amp hours or 10 amp charge rate at a two cell. If I do three, well now I have 15 amp hours. And if I do four, now I have 20 amp hours. And you can see again how this starts to simplify things. I can plug up to six at a time into this board of the similar kind of pack and save myself a ton of time. Plugging these all in now, I'm essentially building one large pack of a large capacity. This would be five times four, 20 amp hour pack. Now a lot of people are unsure about this. A lot of people say parallel charging still isn't safe or proven. I can tell you definitively it absolutely is safe as long as you hook it up correctly. Let me show you an example. These three cell packs I have here is a three cell 5400 milliamp pack. Well, there's actually not three cells in here. If we take this apart and look closer, there's six cells in here. Why six? Well, they're paralleling two cells, two pairs of cells to reach the larger capacity. 
Manufacturers have been doing this for a long time. Lithium polymer battery chemistry likes to be paralleled. It helps stabilize the cell voltages, gives you more amperage to draw from. It's been well proven, it's sold this way, so charging it is absolutely safe as long as you know what you're doing. Now you can see I've hooked these all up here. I got my four main leads and I'll have to plug in my balance leads. When you're parallel charging, balance leads are a must. If you don't have them, you can't do it. You gotta parallel it on a cellular level. So I'm plugging in all my two cells. And again, these are all two cell packs. I'm not mixing and matching. If you're trying to mix and match two, three, four, five cell or so on, you're gonna have a fire or you're gonna run into a problem. So make sure you do not do that. All right, here I have all four plugged in. If I go into my charger settings here, Again, I know what I have in my packs. These are five amp hours a piece times four. So in terms of my current, I'm gonna set it to 20 amps, two cell pack, and I can hit start. The, the charger's gonna treat it like one big pack. It doesn't know it's on the other end. That's why you're telling it. All it sees is one big 20 amp hour two cell. So I can hit start and walk away and all four batteries get charged at the same time. Again, this only works for similar size packs. I keep repeating that because it's absolutely essential you have a very similar size pack and it has to be the same voltage or cell count. Now another interesting point to, to, uh, to work on is depth of discharge. When we speak of depth of discharge, that's basically how charged is your pack. If you're plugging in one of these, let's say I just ran this pack and it's completely dead, this one I know is almost fully charged, it's not a good idea to plug them at the same time because the, all the energy from the battery that's charged is gonna try to rush into the battery that's dead. Not a great idea to do it, there's mixed reviews on whether or not that's good or bad for the cells, but if you want to be safe about it, always plug in packs that have the same depth of discharge or in their same state of charge. You know they're all relatively drained or you know they're all relatively charged, you're safer off paralleling them together. So now I can leave this alone. This all going to charge in one hour, assuming your charger has the power for it, and you save yourself a ton of time and hassle switching between packs. We got obviously a ton of RC cars back here, so we have I think four more of these green packs so it saves a ton of time when we're on the field to hook them up all at once and walk away, go do something else. Obviously, you put them in a safe spot while you're charging, but it saves you the hassle of messing around with all the wiring and swapping out packs. Now, let's say I want to do the same thing on a three-cell setup. It really holds true. It's just going to be the same equation. We're charging two three-cells in parallel. We're not adding the voltages. We're only adding the capacity. So if I pose these aside and bring out the three-cells, if I'm going to hook these up together on here, it's the same story. Hook up the main leads, hook up the three cell balancer lead, these are both three cells. And now I know that when I go into my charger and I'm putting my settings in, I'm just doubling the capacity. These are both 5.4 amp hours, so together I have 10.8 amp hours or 10,800 milliamps if you care to say it that way, and it's still a three cell pack. So I can go into here. I set 10.8 amps because that's my capacity. I make sure it sees a three cell. I hit start and now it's charging these as one big 10.8 hour amp hour pack. Now again, this is the same thing as if I were to put these together, wrap them up with some tape. It's the same thing. The charger sees it as one big battery. So that's parallel charging. Now there are a lot of in and outs to this. If you start to again mix capacity, different size capacity packs, it starts to get a little more complicated. But to keep it simple, plug in the same size pack, add up the capacity, and that's your charge rate. It's that simple. Again, now if you guys have any questions, comment below. This is a pretty hot topic. It's pretty technical. There's a lot of ins and outs, like I said before. So if you have any questions about your specific setup, or you're, you're trying to set up a board and you're not sure, comment below. Or better yet, post up at RC Nightmare Forums. I'm sorry, rcnightmare.com slash forum. We have a section in there specifically for charging. I post them in that forum. I can answer all your questions. I've been parallel charging for many, many years. Products like this pair board here, more powerful, powerful chargers like the PowerLab 8 have made this more economical. I can charge most of these packs in under an hour now with this kind of setup. So again, I'm well versed in it. I can help you out. Let me know what you have to say. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I'll talk to you real soon.